Ezra chapter 4. When the adversaries of Judah and Benjamin heard that the returned exiles were building a temple to the Lord, the God of Israel, they approached Zerubbabel and the heads of the families and said to them, Let us build with you, for we worship your God as you do, and we have been sacrificing to him ever since the days of King Esar Haddon of Assyria, who brought us here. But Zerubbabel, Jeshua, and the rest of the heads of the families in Israel said to them, You shall have no part with us in building a house to our God, but we alone will build to the Lord, the God of Israel, as King Cyrus of Persia has commanded us. Then the people of the land discouraged the people of Judah and made them afraid to build. And they bribed officials to frustrate their plans throughout the reign of King Cyrus of Persia and until the reign of King Darius of Persia. In the reign of Asarus, in his ascension year, they wrote an accusation against the inhabitants of Judah and Jerusalem. And in the days of Artaxerxes, Bishlam and Mithredath and Tabil and the rest of their associates wrote to King Artaxerxes of Persia. The letter was written in Aramaic and translated. Rahim, the royal deputy, and Shimshai, the scribe, wrote a letter against Jerusalem to King Artaxerxes as follows. Then Rahim, the royal deputy, Shimshai the scribe and the rest of their associates, the judges, the envoys, the officials, the Persians, the people of Erech, the Babylonians, the people of Susa, that is, the Elamites, and the rest of the nations whom the great and noble Osnapa deported and settled in the cities of Samaria, and in the rest of the province beyond the river, wrote, And now, this is a copy of the letter that they sent. To King Artaxerxes, your servants, the people of the province beyond the river, send greeting. And now, may it be known to the king that the Jews who came up from you to us have gone to Jerusalem. They are rebuilding that rebellious and wicked city. They are finishing the walls and repairing the foundations. Now, may it be known to the king that if this city is rebuilt and the walls finished, they will not pay tribute, custom or toll, and the royal revenue will be reduced. Now, because we share the salt of the palace, and it is not fitting for us to witness the king's dishonour, therefore we send and inform the king so that a search may be made in the annals of your ancestors. You will discover in the annals that this is a rebellious city, hurtful to kings and provinces, and that sedition was stirred up in it from long ago. On that account, this city was laid waste. We make known to the king that if this city is rebuilt and its walls finished, you will then have no possession in the province beyond the river. The king sent an answer. To Rehum, the royal deputy, and Shimshai, the scribe, and the rest of their associates who live in Samaria and in the rest of the province beyond the river, greeting. And now, the letter that you sent to us has been read in translation before me. So I made a decree. And someone searched and discovered that this city has risen against kings from long ago, and that rebellion and sedition have been made in it. Jerusalem has had mighty kings who ruled over the whole province beyond the river, to whom tribute, custom and toll were paid. Therefore, issue an order that these people be made to cease, and that this city not be rebuilt, until I make a decree. Moreover, take care not to be slack in this matter. Why should damage grow to the hurt of the king? 
Then when the copy of King Artaxerxes' letter was read before Rehum and the scribe Shimshai and their associates, they hurried to the Jews in Jerusalem and by force and power made them cease. At that time, the work on the house of God in Jerusalem stopped and was discontinued until the second year of the reign of King Darius of Persia. Ezra chapter 5 Now the prophet Haggai and Zechariah son of Iddo prophesied to the Jews who were in Judah and Jerusalem in the name of the God of Israel who was over them. Then Zerubbabel son of Shealtiel and Jeshua son of Josedak set out to rebuild the house of God in Jerusalem and with them were the prophets of God helping them. At the same time Tatanai, the governor of the province beyond the river, and Shethab, Bozenai, and their associates, came to them and spoke to them thus. Who gave you a decree to build this house and to finish this structure? They also asked them this. What are the names of the men who are building this building? But the eye of their God was upon the elders of the Jews, and they did not stop them until a report reached Darius, and then answer was returned by letter in reply to it. The copy of the letter that Tatanai, the governor of the province, beyond the river, and Shealthar Bozenai, and his associates and envoys, who were in the province beyond the river, sent to King Darius. They sent him a report, in which was written as follows. To Darius the king, all peace. May it be known to the king that we went to the province of Judah, to the house of the great God. It is being built of hewn stone, and timber is laid in the walls. This work is being done diligently and prospers in their hands. Then we spoke to those elders and asked them, Who gave you a decree to build this house and to finish this structure? We also asked them their names for your information, so that we might write down the names of the men at their head. This was their reply to us. We are the servants of the God of heaven and earth. And we are rebuilding the house that was built many years ago, which a great king of Israel built and finished. But because our ancestors had angered the God of heaven, he gave them into the hand of King Nebuchadnezzar of Babylon, the Chaldean, who destroyed this house and carried away the people to Babylonia. However, King Cyrus of Babylon, in the first year of his reign, made a decree that this house of God should be rebuilt. Moreover, the gold and silver vessels of the house of God, which Nebuchadnezzar had taken out of the temple in Jerusalem and had brought into the temple of Babylon, these King Cyrus took out of the temple of Babylon and they were delivered to a man named Shishbazar, whom he made governor. He said to him, take these vessels, go and put them in the temple in Jerusalem and let the house of God be rebuilt on its site. Then this Shish Bazaar came and laid the foundations of the house of God in Jerusalem. And from that time until now, it has been under construction and it is not yet finished. And now, if it seems good to the king, have a search made in the royal archives there in Babylon to see whether a decree was issued by King Cyrus for the rebuilding of this house of God in Jerusalem. Let the king send us his pleasure in this matter. Ezra chapter 6 Then King Darius made a decree, and they searched the archives where the documents were stored in Babylon. But it was in Ekbatana, 
the capital in the province of Media, that a scroll was found on which this was written. A record. In the first year of his reign, King Cyrus issued a decree concerning the house of God at Jerusalem. Let the house be rebuilt, the palace where sacrifices are offered and burnt offerings are brought. Its height shall be 60 cubits and its width 60 cubits, with three courses of hewn stones and one course of timber. Let the cost be paid from the royal treasury. Moreover, let the gold and silver vessels of the house of God, which Nebuchadnezzar took out of the temple in Jerusalem and brought to Babylon, be restored and brought back to the temple in Jerusalem, each to its place. You shall put them in the house of God. Now you, Tatanai, governor of the province beyond the river Shithar Bozenai, and you, their associates, the envoys in the province beyond the river, keep away. Let the work on this house of God alone. Let the governor of the Jews and the elders of the Jews rebuild this house of God on its site. Moreover, I make a decree regarding what you shall do for these elders of the Jews, for the rebuilding of this house of God. The cost is to be paid to those people, in full and without delay, from the royal revenue, the tribute of the province beyond the river. Whatever is needed, young bulls, rams or sheep for burnt offerings to the God of heaven, wheat, salt, wine or oil, as the priests in Jerusalem require, let that be given to them day by day without fail, so that they may offer pleasing sacrifices to the God of heaven and pray for the life of the king and his children. Furthermore, I decree that if anyone alters this edict, a beam shall be pulled out of the house of the perpetrator, who then shall be impaled on it. The house shall be made a dunghill. May the God who has established his name there overthrow any king or people that shall put forth a hand to alter this, or to destroy this house of God in Jerusalem. I, Darius, make a decree. Let it be done with diligence. Then, according to the words sent by King Darius, Tatenai, the governor of the province beyond the river, Shetha, Bozenai, and their associates did with all diligence what King Darius had ordered. So the elders of the Jews built and prospered through the prophesying of the prophet Haggai and Zechariah, son of Iddo. They finished their building by command of the God of Israel and by decree of Cyrus, Darius, and King Artaxerxes of Persia. And this house was finished on the third day of the month of Adar, in the sixth year of the reign of King Darius. The people of Israel, the priests and the Levites, and the rest of the returned exiles, celebrated the dedication of this house of God with joy. They offered at the dedication of this house of God 100 bulls, 200 rams, 400 lambs, and as a sin offering for all Israel, 12 male goats, according to the number of the tribes of Israel. Then they set the priests in their divisions and the Levites in their courses for the service of God at Jerusalem, as it is written in the book of Moses. On the 14th day of the first month, the returned exiles kept the Passover, for both the priests and the Levites had purified themselves. All of them were clean. So they killed the Passover lamb for all the returned exiles, for their fellow priests and for themselves. It was eaten by the people of Israel who had returned from exile and also by all who had joined them and separated themselves from the pollutions of the nations of the land to worship the Lord, the God of Israel. 
With joy they celebrated the festival of unleavened bread seven days. For the Lord had made them joyful, and had turned the heart of the king of Assyria to them, so that he aided them in the work on the house of God, the God of Israel. Ezra chapter 7 After this, in the reign of King Artaxerxes of Persia, Ezra, son of Sariah, son of Azariah, son of Hilkiah, son of Shalom, son of Zadok, son of Ahitub, son of Amariah, son of Azariah, son of Merioth, son of Zariah, son of Uzai, son of Buki, son of Abishua, son of Phineas, son of Eleazar, son of the chief priest Aaron. This Ezra went up from Babylonia. He was a scribe skilled in the law of Moses that the Lord, the God of Israel, had given. And the king granted him all that he asked, for the hand of the Lord his God was upon him. Some of the people of Israel and some of the priests and Levites the singers and gatekeepers, and the temple servants also went up to Jerusalem in the seventh year of King Artaxerxes. They came to Jerusalem in the fifth month, which was in the seventh year of the king. On the first day of the first month, the journey up from Babylon was begun. And on the first day of the fifth month, he came to Jerusalem for the gracious hand of his God was upon him. For Ezra had set his heart to study the law of the Lord, and to do it, and to teach the statutes and ordinances in Israel. This is a copy of the letter that King Artaxerxes gave to the priest Ezra, the scribe, a scholar of the text of the commandments of the Lord and his statutes for Israel. Artaxerxes, king of kings, to the priest Ezra, the scribe of the law of the God of heaven. Peace. And now I decree that any of the people of Israel or their priests or Levites in my kingdom who freely offers to go to Jerusalem may go with you. For you are sent by the king and his seven counsellors to make inquiries about Judah and Jerusalem according to the law of your God, which is in your hand, and also to convey the silver and gold that the king and his counsellors have freely offered to the God of Israel, whose dwelling place is in Jerusalem. With all the silver and gold that you shall find in the whole province of Babylonia, and with the free will offerings of the people and the priests, given willingly for the house of their God in Jerusalem. With this money, then, you shall, with all diligence, buy bulls, rams and lambs, and their grain offerings, and their drink offerings, and you shall offer them on the altar of the house of your God in Jerusalem. Whatever seems good to you and to your colleagues to do with the rest of the silver and gold, you may do, according to the will of your God. The vessels that have been given you for the service of the house of your God, you shall deliver before the God of Jerusalem. And whatever else is required for the house of your God, which you are responsible for providing, you may provide out of the king's treasury. I, King Artaxerxes, decree to all the treasurers in the province beyond the river, Whatever the priest Ezra, the scribe of the law of the God of heaven, requires of you, let it be done with all diligence. Up to 100 talents of silver, 100 cores of wheat, 100 baths of wine, 100 baths of oil, and unlimited salt. Whatever is commanded by the God of heaven, let it be done with zeal for the house of the God of heaven, or wrath will come upon the realm of the king and his heirs. 
we also notify you that it shall not be lawful to impose tribute, custom, or toll on any of the priests, the Levites, the singers, the doorkeepers, the temple servants, or other servants of this house of God. And you, Ezra, according to the God-given wisdom you possess, appoint magistrates and judges who may judge all the people in the province beyond the river, who know the laws of your God. And you shall teach those who do not know them, all who will not obey the law of your God and the law of the king, let judgment be strictly executed on them, whether for death or for banishment or for confiscation of their goods or for imprisonment. Blessed be the Lord, the God of our ancestors, who put such a thing as this into the heart of the king to glorify the house of the Lord in Jerusalem and who extends to me steadfast love before the king and his counsellors, and before all the king's mighty officers. I took courage, for the hand of the Lord my God was upon me, and I gathered leaders from Israel to go up with me. Take care. God bless. I'll see you next time.